November 5th, that's when the US presidential election is set to take place. We're three months away, so I'm asking folks if they've started to feel the election fatigue. You know, right now I'm really not, and I think part of it is because this process always is something that I'm always invested in. I was feeling a lot of election fatigue, largely due to two candidates who are both quite old, not very inspiring. Currently I am feeling the election fatigue. Oh my gosh, why is that? You know, I guess the past eight, 12 years have been just a lot of uh, different confrontations with the politicians. and. Mm. I'm just kind of tired of hearing it. It seems like with every election cycle, it just gets more challenged because when I hear any candidate, it seems that there's less talk about their platforms and, and what they'd actually like to do in the future and just more of these senseless attacks on each other. And, and that's very fatiguing. Going into this, have you got a strategy in terms of who are you going to vote for? Who are you going to choose? My strategy is probably going to be the lesser of evil, so I don't really know right, correct right now, but I'll just uh, kind of think about it, look at the candidates, and try to make the best informed decision I can. I'm going to be doing door knocking, going to be talking to my neighbors, going to be trying to raise as much awareness about the importance of this election and see if we can come to, if we can't, if I can't convince them to switch their vote, I can at least come to an agreement that, hey, we're going to talk to each other, we're going to be civil. What if they convince you? I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> My, my mind's pretty much made up. You know, I, I agree with policies on, on both sides. For me, though, I, I always look to what is true leadership, someone that I feel that uh, is really going to be positive and unite the country as best as we can. When was the last time you felt that the country was united and not divided? Uh, quite some time. I'm 53, so yeah, it's been quite a few years. What are some of the areas you would want candidates to focus on? I would like to see us focus on our military and keeping it strong and keeping this country uh, together. For me, public education, really, if we can just really pour into that and celebrate and, and really do everything we can for that, that's where I think our country can really excel in. Elections matter, whether it's health care or social security or reproductive rights, regardless of what you think about it. Even if you are not personally affected or you're exhausted, there's a good chance that someone close to you in your life, your parent, your grandparent, your friend, your neighbor, is going to be directly impacted by the consequences of this election. And you're not going to like that. Vera, are you going to vote? <laughs> Guess 16 more years. In downtown, I'm Faraz Javed, 7 News Detroit.